what you just saw right there wasn't just a little clip to put as my introduction. That was my first kill on Call of Duty Black Ops 2. And people, you are here witnessing history in the making. This is the Black Ops 2 multiplayer first impressions by the Sven D. I've been gone for a while, people. I've been gone for a little while, actually. It's been, it's been a little while since I posted my last video. I think the last video I posted was on Assassin's Creed, and that was the day it came out, if I'm not mistaken. Um, you know, I've just been kicking it, chilling it, same as usual, playing a lot of Assassin's Creed, actually. And, you know, I've been anticipating Black Ops for a while. Um, I'm gonna go and tell you guys this story maybe in the next video or something like that But I was one of the fortunate few to get my hands on black ops a week early I got a copy on Tuesday and two other copies on Friday So I've been playing it for about a week before the release and You know, I'll get into that in another video This video is pretty much focused on the first impressions of the multiplayer after release because there is differences believe it or not um you know, coming into Black Ops 2, here's my mindset. I, I really enjoyed Black Ops 1. Multiplayer was great. Zombies was wonderful. Multiplayer had its share of issues, without a doubt. And, and you know, enjoying the game was one thing, but it had been two years since the game had been out. It had gotten stale. Zombies had even gotten stale, and you guys know how big of a Zombies fan I am. I love Zombies. But it, it, it really did get stale, right? Um, zombies is going to be something I cover in the next video I put up too, so be expecting that, but overall, I'm not hyped, I'm not, you know, highly anticipating a Call of Duty title like I usually would in the past. With that said, doing that, either I set the bar, I, I set my standards for what I expected so low that anything could have impressed me. Or this game is truly fucking amazing. You you heard it here first, people, when your mom's reading the newspaper and she's like, Oh my gosh, sweetie, did you read that news article where that Sven D guy, the most famous guy in the world with the biggest penis, said that he liked Call of, like a Call of Duty title? It happened. That just happened. So I really enjoyed this game. I think the multiplayer flows well. I think it has a great pace to it. I think that they really hit a home run on this game. I think that they found that perfect balance between the Modern Warfare games and the Treyarch games, such as Black Ops, World of War, etc. You know, as far as the speed of the game, it is so spot on. I couldn't ask for it any better. In a first person shooter in general. I think the Modern Warfare games, I like those. But I almost think that you died a little too fast, and then you got Black Ops, which I love those, but you, you'd almost die too slow, so, you know, it was kind of like, eh, which way do you want to go? This game fucking hit the nail on the head, like, this this game nailed it, without a doubt, in my opinion. Um, you know, playing it pre-release, I thought that the hit detection was going to be too good to be true. I thought that, you know, the fact that I wasn't running into any issues was just too good to be true. I was like, the game's going to release and all that shit's going to happen. <laughs> People, I'm not having any of those issues. It's only day one since the game's actually been released to the public, but I'm not having any of those issues at all. As a matter of fact, I am so impressed with this game. I, I really can't put it down. I mean, it's, it's crazy. Coming from the perspective of somebody that is in love with the kind of game that Battlefield 3 is. I, I absolutely love it. And for a Call of Duty game, this COD game has the best default class, which I'm using right now, ever. The Scorpions with the smoke grenades and the C4, that is an ideal rush class. That's a perfect rush class. I couldn't ask for any better rush class. Honestly, even when I get to that point where I have everything unlocked, um, they, uh, I honestly don't know what I would honestly change on that class. I really fucking love it. It is amazing. And, it, and it's nice getting right into the game and having a usable class. You don't have, like, the HK-21 with Marathon, the fucking Sniper Skull, fucking, you know, Flash Grenades, and a fucking Beef and Bean Burrito. It's like, what am I going to do with that shit? This game actually gives you a pretty reputable class to use from the get-go. A couple of them, actually. So that's something I'm really impressed with. Um, you know, just just overall, 
I'm loving this game so far, and I'm going to be playing it so much in the coming weeks. I, I really can't explain it enough. Um, this wouldn't even be an overall review grade, because like I said, it's only been released to the public for a day. I've only been playing it for a week. But during that week, too, I didn't actually get to play online that whole time. I didn't get to play online until Friday, because of the online multiplayer servers. I don't know if it was fucking just for PlayStation or what it was, but I couldn't access the multiplayer servers until Friday. But, um, you know, with the first day of the game behind me, I would have to give this game a solid 8.5, which is phenomenal. I mean, if you guys know how I love Battlefield, Battlefield, the day after it was released, aside from the bugs that new releases have, I mean, I would have given that game, you know, an 8.5 or 9.2, so I hope that kind of goes to show how much I really do love this game. I think that if it's only going to get better from here, and they're going to come out with patches for bugs that I haven't even came across yet, this game's gonna be it's it's gonna be a gold mine. I think that this could be the game that Activision needed to save Call of Duty. I really truly believe that. Um it, it really revived the COD title for me. It really did. And that's only multiplayer. The zombies, even the single player. When I got that shit, that was the first thing that I played because I couldn't access any multiplayer servers. Yes, I played it before, solo zombies, I know. But the shit that they did to this game is fucking awesome. I love it. I just want to bang it with a fucking bowl of fruity pebbles next to me while I'm clipping my toenails, reading a fucking Jeff George with the soup shells on the side. That's how excited I am. I'm going to do a backflip while I'm jumping over giraffe necks, pulling my fucking leg out, hitting my dog with it, watching TV, calling Oprah, telling her to buy Black Ops 2 while she's eating some sushi, and she's calling me Sally. That's all you need to know. That is all you need to know. Buy this game, people. If, if you are someone that has given up on COD like I was, buy this game. It will change your mind. I promise. At least give it a chance. But anyways, people, be expecting a Zombies First impression video later today or early tomorrow. And until then, it is your boy, Sven D. It's nice to be back. And I'm out. Yeah.